there, it's Natasha and thank you so much for joining me today. Today we are going to be working with a really simple design that would work for lots of good occasions. I'm starting off with a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card base and a four by five and a quarter inch card front. Now I am going to use some cheerful Versafine Clear which is just a yellow pigment ink and I just want to get a mediumly light coverage all over this front panel. Now I'm not worried about making my blending perfect or anything like that because I'm going to be using some embossing paste over top of this. And that will cover up basically all of those little uh, imperfections in our blending. Now I did want to show you today how easy it is to create your own colored embossing paste that you don't have to buy colors of things. So for this one, I'm going to be using some transparent matte texture paste. Now you can also get a gloss one as well. Um, and this would also work perfectly fine using just normal embossing paste, which is uh, white, of course. So it would tone down your color a little bit, um, but would still work perfectly fine. But I'm just showing you the transparent one works just as perfectly um, today. So I'm putting out two different little globs there. I've probably got a little bit too much, but that's okay. <laughs> In the top glob, I'm going to add a little bit of reinker. There was about one or two drops maybe of uh, reinker there. This is the mustard seed from the Distress Oxide range. And then the bottom one, I added a little bit more, probably three to four drops. And then actually what I had to do with the top one is I took a little bit away and added a little bit more of the texture paste just because the color was too dark for what I wanted. I wanted it to be an ombre uh, kind of effect here, so one darker than the other. So by creating your own color textured paste, this is a really easy way to make everything coordinate on your card as well, which is what I sometimes struggle with. And I know what other people struggle with is, you know, making things coordinate on their cards and look cohesive. And this is a really good tip. You just end up using the same colors in lots of different mediums uh, on your card front. But for today, this is my background and you can see that I've got a really nice kind of ombre lighter in the middle and dark around the edges. And I'm going to put this aside to dry. I have picked up a couple of these little, little tea sets here. This is the Terrific one from Sunny Studios. Now, I have said before that I like these smaller stamp sets because they are affordable. Buying a large stamp set can sometimes feel like a real investment, and I don't always have the money to do that. So buying these little stamp sets gives me something to play with whilst still not costing me too much. So I have stamped these out using some Versafine Onyx Black ink. Then I'm going to add some clear embossing powder to the top because I want to color these using some alcohol markers. Now you can definitely use anything at all to color these, and I mean anything. There are so many mediums that you could use, just whatever you are comfortable with. I'm going to melt that with my heat tool and then this is when I kind of decided that I wanted my teapot to have a little bit more detail in it. Now, I actually filmed this a little bit out of order because I did a test one of these earlier. So uh, what I ended up doing was stamping this teapot on a piece of masking paper and even stamping it on a little um, post-it note or something would be fine. But you can see in the background there that one of the teapots has some flowers on the inside of it. And that is what I wanted to create. So I'm cutting out a little mask um, so that I make sure that the flowers kind of look continuous around the whole teapot, but don't go off the edge of my um, original stamping. So <laughs> now skip forward a bit and I have that teapot is empty again and I'm going to add the mask just around the outside. And then from this tiny little set here, again, another Sunny Studios one, I just want to use that little flower. Uh, I'm going to be featuring this stamp set in an upcoming video, in fact, a few upcoming videos. But I just wanted to borrow this gorgeous little flower because it is the perfect size to fill up my little teapot. And then when I take the masking off, you can see that it looks like it was always meant to be. I am again going to add the same embossing powder just so that everything is consistent and it all looks the same. And then I will melt all of that powder with my heat gun again. And then that's where it comes down to coloring. Now you guys will know if you have watched some previous videos that coloring is not my forte. Today I'm going to use some Pale Pink Blend, Citrus Blend, Light Green Blend, and Ice Blue Blend. Now, 
as I said, colouring, not my forte. So these tri-blend markers here, which I have the whole set of, uh, about 24 or so, this is what helps me out because with uh, alcohol marker colouring, I don't have to think about which colours go together and of the lights and the darks and different shades and things, it's all of the work has done for me. So this, if this is something that you struggle with, going down this kind of route for uh, colouring mediums is a good option. But I am hardly doing any blending. These images are actually really tiny, so I'm just doing a really little bit. In fact, I could have done more on the teapot, uh, which I can see now that <laughs> when I'm editing it and doing the voiceover, but um, honestly, it doesn't bother me in the finished card. And I'm going to add the little teacup saucer to be blue as well because I want everything to be a little bit coordinating. I'm going to have a nice light green kind of cup. I wanted all of the colours of these things to be a little bit sort of pastel, a little bit light. Um, yeah, I just didn't want them to be too bright and cheerful. And then I'm just going to cut them out with the little coordinating dies, which I don't often get to be honest, but I did with these sets. I felt like, again, being a smaller stamp set, then the coordinating die sets uh, were almost pretty much affordable as well. So I ended up with these gorgeous little cup and saucer and the teapot. And I really like how they came out. I like the shine from the embossing. I think that adds to it as well. Using my Hero Arts Infinity dies, which is all the different uh, sizes of circles that you could possibly need, I've cut the large one out in vellum and the smaller circle out in just some plain white cardstock, the Nina Solar White, which is the same as my card base. And I'm going to stamp them in the same VersaFine Onyx Black ink because I want to keep it the same as what my teapot and teacup are stamped in. So there is some words here, it says, you're a terrific friend, except for the A is so, so tiny, it's just a single letter, that I couldn't place it right in my Misty, so I just used a little acrylic block and that was much easier. So it says, you're a terrific friend. <laughs> Now just to finish this off, I have this Honeybee Stamps Great Outdoors uh, paper pad here, sorry. I'm being lazy, you could definitely just create this with inks and stamps as well. I cut out the same circle as my white sized one and this was going to be kind of the table or the bench or whatever that um, my teapot and teacup were sitting on, otherwise they kind of feel like they are floating. Now this is always a great tip here where you have the four bits of double sided adhesive, peel back a tiny little corner of each and you have one piece of exposed adhesive in the middle and this means that I can line my panel up, wiggle it around until I've got everything in place where I want it to be and all the sides are nice and even and then I press down with my thumb in the middle and pull out all of those little tabs and everything is perfectly even. Now I was being a little bit careful here because my front panel was not perfectly dry <laughs> but I'm going to add some liquid glue. The liquid glue in there is the Ranger Multi Medium in the matte finish and it is in a bottle from AliExpress which are my favourite bottles. They're not hard to squeeze at all um, so I've really really enjoyed those and I've used them for a long time now. I have a video on my channel if you are having trouble filling them up as well uh, with some really easy tips that make it mess free. And I just used some liquid glue to adhere the vellum circle to the back of uh, the white circle there. Add some little foam squares or foam dots or fun foam or even um, add some layers of cardstock, anything to pop it up a little bit, whatever you have in your stash. And that is going to go right in the middle there. And then obviously on the front of that I'm going to pop a little bit of foam tape, just a couple of little foam squares on the back of my teapot and teacup and they are going to go right in the center. So you don't have to pop these up, there is now two layers of foam squares because I put them behind the circle as well. So if you're worried about posting this then um, maybe leave off one of the layers of foam squares but I think it provides some really cute little dimension and makes them stand up off the table. Now this uh, card tutorial today was more about kind of the design and creating your own coloured texture paste and things. You don't have to have the little teapots and teacups, those stamp sets, you can put whatever you want in the middle. Even a couple of flowers and a little sentiment would look absolutely beautiful. So see what you have in your stash to add in the centre there. Um, I am going to add some glossy accents to mine and that kind of gives them that glossy ceramic feel I guess. And it goes a little bit cloudy until it dries and then it goes nice and clear. That was my card for today team, thank you so much. I am just receiving so much support and amazing, amazing comments you guys. Thank you so, so, so much. And I really, really do look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks, bye.